Hey everybody, Kenneth Russell here. Hope you're doing great. Today I'm going to give you a guide on how to buy your first guitar. This is for people buying their first guitar or if you're buying a guitar for somebody for their first guitar. Check it out. So today, actually one of my friends from high school Facebooked me and knew that I was into guitars and all that kind of thing and said, hey, I'm thinking about picking up guitar and where do I start? What kind of things did I get? Actually, I'll just read the, uh, the message to you that I have here. He said, hey, Kenneth, guitar question for you. So I went to a concert and have been inspired to get off my derriere and learn again and learn to play the guitar or at least a couple songs of course nothing complex just maybe slow metallica nothing else matters or Jimi hendrix voodoo child you know easy stuff should i start with an acoustic and if so what brands models would you recommend i need a lefty also just looking for your input as I keep putting this off and need to jump in to make it happen. Thanks, man. So um, I sent him back five things that I think you should consider when he buys a guitar for the first time, and I'm going to share them with you. First thing is, let me just actually, I'm going to get, I'm going to give six things, but uh, I gave him five. Let's just start here. So here's number one. You buy guitar for the kind of music you want to play. So he said he wants to play Metallica, Jim Hendrix, Voodoo Child, that kind of thing. Don't buy an acoustic guitar, buy an electric guitar. If you want to play electric guitar, then buy an electric guitar. If you want to play acoustic guitar, if you want to be Dave Matthews, buy an acoustic guitar. If you want to play classical guitar, play a classical guitar. It's kind of a myth that like you're supposed to start on an acoustic guitar and that's the best way to learn guitar. It's not really true. You really, the best guitar that you're going to learn to play is a guitar that you're inspired to play. If you're trying, if your brain's trying to think, yeah, this is an acoustic, but someday this is going to sound good on electric, you're probably going to end up putting it aside and not really taking up the hobby of playing guitar. So go out and buy an electric. So if he's looking at an electric guitar, um, my recommend is recommendation is to just buy something. And this is my number two thing, I guess, is buy something in the 200 maybe even the $150 to $400 range. And you might be saying like, well, what kind of guitar, you know, give me a brand and a model and that kind of thing. Um, I can give you a couple options, you know, a couple things you might consider, like this guitar back here is a Epiphone Les Paul. It's a decent guitar, you know, it's not the best guitar in the world, but you don't need the best guitar in the world. You need just a decent starter guitar. Here's the deal. You'll be able to go into a shop and buy like the cheapest, cheapest, cheapest guitar that's there. You might be able to find something for under a hundred bucks and it might be a decent guitar. I've got actually quite a few guitars that are under a hundred dollars that I like, but it's kind of a crapshoot on whether you're going to get one that's made well or one that has a couple little issues. And I'll get to that in just a second, but, but generally speaking, if you're looking at the kind of 200 to $400 new price range, you're pretty much in a, in a good spot. You know, there, there's not a whole lot of manufacturers that are making junky guitars in that price range. It's a good, it's not the absolute entry level, but it's not, you know, high end. And so it's a good spot right there. Um, or if you were on the used market, if you found something um, in a store, if you found a musical round that was by you or a guitar center, whatever that has a used section, you might be looking in the maybe 100 to 125 to $300 range in the used market. So hopefully that kind of makes sense. Um, I just looked on right now on, on uh, just the interwebs and you know, you can pick up like a Squire Stratocaster for $200 with a pack that's got an amp and that kind of thing. We'll talk about an amp in a second, but but you can get a Squire, you can get a Telecaster. Those are great options. Probably I would actually say a Telecaster would be a, a good start or a Les Paul, those, those kind of two things. But most important thing is go into a store and find something that inspires you, that you would go, you know, I would enjoy picking up that guitar, putting it on my lap and playing. So that leads me to uh, this one that I'm gonna fit in here. He said uh, that he wanted to play a left-handed guitar. He's left-handed, needs a lefty. That's actually a myth. If you wanna play left-handed guitar, that's fine, uh, but you don't have to, if just because you're left-handed does not mean you need to play a left-handed guitar. You can play a right-handed guitar. Um, you know, it's like, for example, there's no such thing as a, at least that I know of, like a left-handed violin, you know? 
So, I mean, it, it, you know, those instruments have been around for a long time. They just kind of invented them uh, for a guitar just because I think it's a little bit more popular instrument. But uh, matter of fact, even beginning, if you, if you, because your dexterity in your left hand is greater than your right hand, you actually might be easier for you to learn picking up a right-handed guitar playing with the left hand. That being said, if you want to get a left-handed guitar, that's great. It's just going to reduce your options on guitars uh, that you're going to be able to buy. But like, again, play what you feel comfortable with, grab something that you're inspired. You know, if I have this sitting on the stand and I walk into my living room and I go, you know what, I'm gonna pick that up and I'm gonna play it. That's what you're looking for. Something you would like to play, something you think is cool, that you would wanna play, that kind of like fits uh, the, the look that you're, you're going for. Number three, consider having a guitar set up by a tech. So if you go into most guitar centers, they're gonna have a, a person there that's a tech and you could say, hey, can you set this guitar up with new strings? And it's gonna be around like $75. Now what they do is they just basically make sure that the action is really good, that there's that it's an in intonation, which basically means it's in tune, um, that the action means the height of the string, strings off of the, the, the neck, the fretboard of the guitar basically making it where it's easy to play. I've picked up expensive guitars that are hard to play that weren't properly set up. And generally speaking, if you're, you can buy it like a mass produced, again, in that 200 to $400 range guitar for, and have it set up and it'll play really, really well. So it, as you're budgeting for it, consider that. Maybe I'll buy like a $150 guitar kind of on the low end, but I'm gonna have it set up, it's probably gonna play better set up than even something in the higher end of that range. So consider having it set up. If you have a friend that does play guitar that's willing to go to the shop with you, that is great, because they may be able to say, actually, this guitar doesn't need to be set up. It plays great, it feels great. I have no problem playing with it. So that's just an option there too. So if you have a buddy that, that knows guitars, that might be a, a good option, but consider having it set up. I think I'm on number four or five here. Buy a cheap or cheapish practice amp with effects. Now you may not even know what effects are, but they're, they're gonna be like your distortion and your chorus and your flanger and all these different things. You don't need to even know what they do right now. The reason why I say buy a cheap amplifier with effects is because it completely eliminates the need for pedals. And you'll be able to kind of get these sounds of songs that, that you hear that you want to sound like that. You know, if you want a Metallica sound, most of those guitar amps, there's like, you know, you hit one button, you kind of have a crunchy Metallica-ish, heavy, heavier sound, and that's great. You don't have to worry about trying to buy like a big fancy amp and all these kind of pedals and stuff. If you're just learning it, listen, there's tons of room, there's tons of time to really dive down and get into gear, but as you're learning guitar, you wanna just, just get in there where you don't have to worry about extra stuff and focus on the playing. A couple options that you can have is, probably my best recommendation, it would be a Boss Katana. You can get the Boss Katana 50, I think, for around $200. And I bought one used for 100 and, I think I probably paid 140, maybe 150, but, I doubt that I even paid that much. You can find you can find them on Craigslist. Uh, you can find them on Facebook Marketplace used, and it's fine buying something used, especially like that. But that's going to have everything built in. Um, I've actually used it live. It's it's a great amplifier, 200 bucks. If you want to spend a little bit less than that, uh, like the Black Star ID series, their ID Core, I think is what it's called. Uh, I'm looking right now uh, just on. On Google Shopping, there's an ID Core 20 for 159. There's an ID Core 10, 10 watt amp for $109. These are just mostly bedroom practice amps, but they've got built-in effects, um, so that's what you're going to look for. So, uh, so far we've got uh, buy an acoustic or an electric, whatever you want to play. So in this case, an electric guitar. Buy one that looks cool that you would want to play it. That's around new in the $200 and $400 range. Consider having it set up or bring a friend with you to buy the guitar. Uh, get a cheap er practice amp. The reason why I say cheap er is because some guitars come with like a starter amplifier, and those are okay, but they're they're really not. Uh, they, they're gonna be kind of frustrating for you to play with. It's, it's better to get like a Boss Katana or a Black Star. You're gonna, you're gonna feel the sound better than, than with like, like, for example, a Fender Starter Pack with their, their cheap amp they have there. Then number, 
five or six <laughs> is a couple things you might want to consider buying that you're going to need. Uh, you need a tuner. So some of these amps actually have a tuner built into them, which is great. So you may be able to, to skimp on that. But having just a tuner that clips onto the end of your guitar is a really great thing to have too. You can pick them up on Amazon for less than $10. They all kind of work about the same. They're not like the most amazing thing in the world, but they, they do get the job done. And so get a, get a tuner, it's just nice to have one. Sometimes you don't wanna to have to plug up into anything. Just get a, a clip-on tuner at the top. Get a, a 10-foot guitar cable that's a decent cable. A lot of times uh, packs or guitars will come with a, a cable. Hold on to it, keep it, you may use it eventually, but go on to Amazon and buy a Hosa, H-O-S-A guitar cable. Their lower end one, I think is like eight bucks. The one that I recommend is their Reen series, I believe it is, and that is $14. It's their uh, HGTR is the, if you look on Amazon, that's what it's called. And they're like 14 bucks. I've got a bunch of them, I love them. They last a long time. Because again, that's another thing is you don't want to have to deal with a cable that's cracking. You want a cable that's gonna last. Pick up a guitar stand. You, again, buy one on Amazon, I'm gonna say probably $10, $15 maybe for a, a guitar stand. Don't need something fancy, just something that you, that you can put a, a guitar on. And then a couple picks, really maybe like five or six picks. And what you wanna do is go to uh, your music store. They'll have a box with a bunch of picks there and it's kind of like in a grid formation. And just hold a bunch of them and buy like five or six of them. Usually they're like 50 cents or 75 or a dollar per pick. So you can buy like 10 picks um, for probably seven to ten dollars and then you'll buy them of different thicknesses. This one here is a Dunlop. I really like uh, Dunlop uh, picks so I'd recommend them. This is a super thin one. It's a 46 millimeter and it'll say on there what the thickness is. Um, so you're probably not going to want a 46. You're going to probably want something around the the 60 to 75 millimeter but pick up a bunch of different ones. They, you'll, you'll find one that fits well for you and, and how you want to play. You, you'll end up liking one more than another. So that's it. That's my five or six tips on buying a guitar for the first time for yourself or for somebody else. Again, let me go through those. Buy a guitar that, of the style you want to play, electric, acoustic, classical, whatever. So buy, buy an electric guitar if you want to play electric guitar. 200 to $400 range-ish. You know, give or take a little bit, but but somewhere around there, you're going to be in good shape. Consider having a guitar set up, and or bring a person with you to buy the guitar that, to see if it is set up well. Buy a a cheaper, decent starter amplifier, a smaller practice amp, Boss Katana, uh, Black Star ID Core. Those are great options. And then uh, get those extras, the tuner, the cable, all that kind of thing. Matter of fact, here's a little tip. As you're buying the guitar, you may be able to get some of those things thrown in with the guitar. If you say, hey, I'm gonna buy this $300 guitar, they're probably not gonna come down on the price, but, but those things like a, a tuner and um, you know, a, a cable, a, a guitar cable or a strap, those are, are very inexpensive for the, for the store to buy. Uh, wholesale and so they'll throw in you know twenty dollars worth of stuff at, in order to sell something that's three hundred dollars. So you could say like, hey, would you give me a, a cable and uh, you know ten picks? And they'll go, yeah, we could probably do that. That's just my experience. Anyway, hopefully that was helpful to you. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. There you go. There's your uh, your guide to buying your first guitar. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Kenneth Russell out. I'll see you in another video.